I'm excited about Buddy's a thousand. Hopefully, uh, selfishly, I'd like it to be in round two on a Friday night where everyone gets to enjoy it at the, at SC, the SCG. be magnificent. Yep. But if it happens this weekend, it, magnificent as well. It's one of the great football stories. Robbo had him at 11 in the top 50. You on Friday morning on SEN didn't have him in your top 50, and that caused a storm. Can you validate that for us? Well, I just don't think it's that big a call, Hutchie. I just don't think at age 35, and he's played 28 games in the last three years, that he's in the top 6 or 7% of players in the game. Still a very good player, and you know I still rate him as, as a very good footballer, but top 50 is the elite. And Do you agree with that? I wouldn't have him in my top half a dozen key forwards in the game. Oh, he, I think if he gets back to playing football uh, this year, he's in the best six players, best six forwards in the game. And, and I look at his record. I, I think he hasn't dropped off that much. I think he just has to get some luck with his body this year. And I think he's a player. All the guys who played a 40, like guys like Burgoyne, Fletcher, Boomer Harvey, they're all wing or backmen. This could be the first guy that can play till 37, 38, in my opinion. It was good of his management or someone to suggest you might take a pay cut if he plays well, well, on yeah, the He has to, doesn't he? But uh, I think he can just keep going, Hutchie. He kicked 51 goals from 18 games last year. We've had three players who can kick over 50. So this guy's just got to keep going. Carol, you love the history of the game. Should, should, what do they do about the fans and the potential running out in the COVID era? on the SCG or on the uh, stadium this weekend? Uh, uh, look, I, th I know it's really hard to control a crowd, but I remember the look, a brief look of fear on Buddy's face the last time this happened. I think it must be terrifying for people. Uh, it must be terrified for the player who's mobbed, and I know the players have a, a plan to get around him. You had a good point. I, I, I really hope that Lance Franklin, if he kicks two or three this week, um, he's not being presumptuous. If he gets up and makes a media comment next week, please... Please don't storm the ground. Please respect my personal space. It's too dangerous in this day and age. Please just don't do it. I know I'm being politically correct, but I just I, I hate seeing the players look so freaked out well, when and, it happens and now. And in times like this as well. I, oh, the yep. AFL's worth oh. nightmare. Oh. Now, whether they can control it, I don't think they can, but for Buddy to come out as influential as he is to make that statement... He would certainly have been in that spot before. How many times? A couple of times. Did you love it? Yeah. Uh, it was great, but as, you wouldn't want to fall over. Mm. That's the thing about it, because you have to wrap arms and just support each other, because that's when you feel if you're, it is claustrophobic and all those sorts of things. They handled it much better the second time around Hutch, got us off very, very quickly. So I would love to see it happen, um, to be honest. Would you? Yeah. yeah. It'd be, it's the last time we'll probably ever see it in the history of the game.